multi-level data are data that have different levels. For example, we have industries, we have companies in industries, and then we have repeated observations of those companies. This is an example of a nested structure. But there is also another kind of, kind of data structure that can be used in multi-level modeling, which is the crossed structure. Let's take a look at first what is the nested structure. The, the idea of nested structure is that we have these three levels. For example, we have years nested in firms, nested in industries. So we make two important assumptions. First, we make the assumption that each level one observation belongs to only one level two unit. And each un level two unit belongs to only level one, only one level three unit. So these form kind of like a hierarchy. So there is, there is many to one correspondence between these levels. And another important assumption in these models, particularly for estimation, is that the firms in one industry are independent of the firms in another industry. So after controlling for possible common level three effect, then the level two effects are independent or level one effects within level two effects are independent. So these are two important assumptions in nested data set, which is kind of like a, a tree structure. So you would have country, which have industries, which have firms, which have repeated observations and so on. But this kind of data structure does not fit well to all possible research questions. So consider, for example, this scenario. We have venture capitalists that make investments in startups. A, a venture capitalist typically makes multiple investments. So if you have a fund, you invest it in 10, 20 companies, however you, you get, and depending on the size of the fund. And then you have startups. But the startups typically also, if it's a successful startup, it tries to get multiple investments. So how would you structure this kind of data? How would you structure the investments or startups or venture capitalists. Each startup makes multiple investments. So you can't say that um, gets multiple investments, each venture capitalist makes multiple investments. So there is no clear uh, structure of hierarchy. What we would say is that these are crossed. So we would say that the investments are crossed in startups and venture capitalists. So that each investment has one venture capitalist and one startup that it uh, invested in, but each venture capitalist can have multiple investments, each startup can have multiple investments. So instead of looking at uh, the data as a, as a tree-like structure, like a hierarchy, we will be looking at the data like a cross tabulation of two dimensions. And each cell has uh, one investor, one investment target, and uh, its investment target, its uh, investor can have multiple investments. So how do we deal with this kind of uh, problems in multi-level modeling? This is uh, in a way simple, in a way complicated. Conceptually it is simple to distinguish when you have a nested structure and when you have a cross structure. So can you uh, put the observational units into a hierarchy or not? If no, then you have a cross structure if they are a hierarchy so that there's always many to one relationships and, and they can be used to form a tree, then you have a, a nested structure. The independence of random effects is assumed in both cases. So if you have two levels, you have investors, you have uh, startups, then the investor random effects and startup random effects are assumed to be independent. And uh, so this independence assumption is assumed for both cases. The cross models are conceptually, are computationally more challenging. So it's fairly straightforward to specify in your software that you, instead of nested structure, which is the default, you want to have a cross structure for some of the random effects and uh, the computer will do that for you. The calculation is more complicated and I will not get into the details but it just takes a, a longer time to estimate. If you have a nested model that runs for, for 10 seconds, then running the same with crossed 
depending of course on your software and your computer could take like 10 minutes or something like that. So there can be several orders of magnitude of more computation depending on how the computation has been implemented, depending on the sample size and many other factors. Trust models are less common. Perhaps this is because uh, many things in nature and social life form hierarchies and these kind of cross structures are less common. Or perhaps it is because cross models can be often avoided by using fixed effects instead of one of the random effects. So for example if we have let's say 500 startups and 50 investors instead of estimating a random effect for the investors we could apply fixed effect for the estimators for the investors and then use a random effect for the startups and that would take care of the problem. We would have no longer have a, a, a cross structure. So sometimes you can get away with having cross structure inste by instead of having a random effect replacing that with a fixed effect or, or basically dummies for, for that class of observations. Finally it's possible to combine crossed and nested levels. So for example you could have a venture capitalists that specialize in industries. They only invest in one industry and startup belongs to one industry. So you, you could have these industries that have separate venture capitalists each, separate uh, startups each. So you would have industry as your level three and then venture capitalist and startup would be nested as levels one and two. There's really no difference in, net, in, in crossing. They would be crossed as level one and two and then the actual investments would be the, the lowest level observations. So it's possible to do this uh, cross defects. They're not very common and they're integrated the same way. The only practical issue with these cross random effects models is that they just take a longer time to estimate.